you look back at your teaching career and your superintendent now, if you can go back to, you know, first year teacher Scott, what advice would you give and why? It's interesting. I, I, that's a really, really good question because, you know, having 25 years later, the first right. thing I think I have to do real quick is just remember what it was like to be a, uh, to be a first year teacher. And then I hate to say it, but I think 25 years ago, times might have been, or at least they feel like they might have been a little bit simpler mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit less expectations. And um, so I really think the educators of today, they're really up against it, you know, for a lot of different reasons. You know, expectations are, you know, through the roof right now. We're dealing yeah. with a lot of things at the societal level in terms of, you know, things, forces, you know, kind of spinning around and things like that. And you have to confront, you know, different things. But I think that I what I would probably say is really take your time in developing, you know, your craft, you know, kind of getting back to the story that I just shared a couple of moments ago is that I think we want everything to fall into place immediately. Right. And I think it's kind of similar to the students that we teach, right? Some students are going to grab onto it right away and run with it and take it to the next level. Some students, it's going to take a little bit longer and some aren't going to get it in our time frame, And we have to figure out ways in which we can be patient with them and approach it in different ways in order to make sure that they that they get that. And I think I feel the same way, you know, with teaching, you know, at the end of the day, it really is a multi year process. And I think in year one, if you can just get your classroom management down, obviously yeah. everything is important. But if you can get your classroom management procedures down, to me, that's the foundation of all, you know, really good, you know, education is that you have to make sure that you can manage students and you can manage your materials in an efficient and effective way. And then I would kind of say in year two, if you could really begin to hone in on the instruction, you had a, a year to kind of figure out what works, what doesn't, how can you perfect that a little bit better? And then to me in year three, you could really target in on that assessment a little bit better. And really, if your classroom management is going pretty well, if your instruction is going really well and you're engaging those learners, the last piece is, how do you make sense as of what they learned? And you know, the, really the main thing is, did they learn at the end of the lesson? And honing in on that assessment piece, I think is really important. You just basically gave every school district listening the three-year mentoring plan for teachers coming into the school district. You just, you just gave it away for free. So I'll have to put like a tip jar up on Amazon or something like that for you for doing that. The, the thing that you said, uh, and uh, you know, I, I've done this podcast quite a while, and I've never heard that advice before. And I thought it was really profound, you know, like basically we should remember what our first year was like, but don't assume our first year 25 years ago is similar to the first year that people are having right now. It's very different. So I, I, I appreciate that. I guarantee you a lot of teachers that are early on in the career probably appreciate that you just said that. And I, I think that means a lot. So